Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Today we're going to talk about melody writing uh, using the real-time entry method or playing it with our typing keyboard. So I want to show you a few things here in our project. Um, this is a template that I made with a rhythm, melody, or harmony and uh, just some general backing music that I want us to be able to play over. Um, I'm going to turn my cycle region on by clicking here and just let you hear the backing track that we're going to work with. Okay, so there's our backing track that we're going to work with for today. Now, I would like to do some real-time entry here. So I'm going to select this track and make sure that my R is turned on. And that is going to be what arms this track to record, tells it that's the one I want to record on. And then I'm going to go in here to my uh, instrument by clicking on the little circle. It brought me to my actual instrument. Um, if it didn't, you can click here and you'll see this and you'll notice that there are keys down along the bottom. Uh, there's a Z key and an X key. Wait, these aren't musical notes. V, N, M, a comma as a musical note. Oh, wait, those aren't musical notes. That's your typing keyboard. If you want to play those keys, you can type on your typing keyboard. <laughs> Great. What if I want to play a different octave? Well, you can move up or down octaves using here. By clicking. You go down or up the octave, which is pretty cool. So uh, now I'm going to set my playhead to where I want to start. I'm going to make sure I have my metronome on and I'm going to give myself a two bar count in or eight beats that will, it won't record on. And then I'll hit the record button. You'll see the playhead jump backwards eight beats and then I'll hear that and I can start recording just by typing on my typing keyboard. Um, in this example, I've only used notes in the key of C major. So I'm only going to use the white keys. Here we go. Ready, go. You'll notice when it gets to the end of the cycle region, it automatically stops which is a really nice thing so you don't uh, continue recording on past what you intended to. A good reason to use the cycle tool. Now I'm going to switch my view to the piano roll. And it's fairly zoomed out right now, so I'm going to zoom in so I can begin to see how those notes lined up. Well, for the most part, we did pretty good. I'm going to click on this box to turn it uh, dark blue. You can see the outside of it uh, turned dark blue when I did that um, and I'm going to hit command A because I'm on a Mac or you could hit control A if you're on a PC and that selects all the notes then I'm going to right click them and quantize them to the 16th note in this case so automatically that made the front edges of all these notes line up on the grid which is great news because now it is much more accurate. Now, I will say an important thing to do is go through and check and listen and make sure it came out right. So let's just see. Oh, so there's a, a skip that it went ahead by one. I'm going to grab it and slide it over. You also, if you have gaps that you didn't like, you could grab the end of it. 
and lengthen it so that it fills up the full space. Okay, so there we go. Now we've edited that down. We have a much more accurate uh, melodic line there. Sounds pretty good. We're ready to go. So there is some real-time entry. I would always recommend, especially as a beginner, that you take the time to do the quantization at the end. It just really makes for a much tighter uh, melodic line. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hit the subscribe button or the thumbs up to like this video if you enjoyed.